What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Inside the Mind. Remember, this is a series where I take you through my thoughts leading you to an endgame and exact what I'm thinking. And, you know, there's a few key takeaways from every episode, and this episode is going to be knowing when height is distracted during moving zone or weak to, to the fact that, like, you can take it, right? So this is a cash cup game. Obviously, you see there's not too many people alive, but there's good players in this lobby. You know, there's players like Macwoods Extra. There's a few other pros. It's a high cash cup game. And, you know, these are the lobbies that you run into. Sometimes you run into them in FNCS Open. Sometimes you run into them in FNCS Semis. Sometimes you run into them in cash cups. You run into them in everything. So it's important just like playing the, uh, the stacked lobbies. It's important to know how to play these smaller lobbies. So right here, uh, Coop and I had just refarmed the bridge, the metal bridge, right? We've talked about that in previous videos, refarming the infrastructure. Uh, I refarmed the whole bridge and was able to just block off all our metal and just chill until the next zone happened. So I'm looking for a rotate here. There's a team above us, there's a team under us. The team above us left. And I was asking her if they left, and I think they left and built up that brick base right there. I don't know. I think they're gonna look for us too. And they built those double ramps the other way, meaning they're only gonna look towards us, right? So they're staring straight at us because they have that double ramp. And I see them getting grief right now, so I go, we should go now. So I tell Coop, let's go. Let's head out, and I block our back. I move in a little bit and then I just box up waiting for Coop. I want these kids in front of us to make a move. And then I just start ramping height right now. I'm going high, I'm going high. And I see that it's free, so I end up just taking height. Uh, this isn't the main height that I'm saying like yeah. this isn't this isn't the main point of the video. The main point of the video is for later, right? Back, back, so right here we're just taking height just so we can beam kids out the air. Uh, I'm not really trying to hold it. I don't want to waste okay. mats and try to hold height if if it's not possible. I see opposite height fighting right now. So I'm looking for a pick with Coop to double heavy. Uh, they end up killing each other. That means one team ends up keeping height, obviously. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Chill, chill, chill. Um, don't worry about the West Indian. They have height. Okay, I'm 3 4 2. I'm 4 1 4. Live grappler. Nice. Okay, we got zone. Where your mark? Okay. Cleared mark. Yeah, we gotta get the pain. Maybe wait. I, if they're gonna start griefing, we don't need to hold it. Yeah. The dead lobby. So now I'm trying to see if we can keep height. Because it, it goes our way. But it doesn't go our way enough where the other team can't keep it either. Uh, like, I wanna keep it, but I don't wanna waste all our mats, right? If they double, triple RPG us, there's no point in keeping it. They're just gonna waste a hundred mats every time, and then what? After eight rockets, I'm out of mats now. Like it's just not worth. So I'm trying to pressure them so they can get down. I place those floors behind me just so that the teams under me can't look at me. Prefer a floor over a wall. And I get landed on. And so Coop and I just say, "Yo, we're not gonna take it. We're gonna pad to next zone." Uh, mats are looking low. We need a pick soon. I'm pitting Coop's body there. To you. I get the Coop and now we have to go for the That's fine. Back up. I'm with. I'm right here in this corner. Mm, we might want to go for a pick. Double heavy pick. Double heavy pick. Up. Come here, come here, come here. Right here. In this box. You ready? Go, go, go. Dead. It's backwards. You get his loot or are you good? Yeah, I think I got it. I got his loot. Gold RPG. Gold tack. You want the gold tack? Uh, no, I'm good. Then. Okay, okay. It goes fine. Max, max. Careful, not ours, not Don't go as far. I tell Coop that that's not our wall to be careful. So that way he holds out his gun. He holds out his gun as he's leaving and he ends up shitting on the kid. And at this point in the zone, uh, we want to look for height, right? I have a gold RPG. I give it to Coop. That way I can minigun while he RPGs. So I tell him to look up to RPG and we both look up. They're fighting, so I minigun them and I get beamed. 
So I box up for a second just so I can pop minis, and Coop RPGs and takes it, and boom. It's that simple. Now I'm gonna let you guys listen to the comms, uh, just basic connections, you know, just the simple things that we do. Okay, I have, I have 300 wood. Drop you guys down. Connect to the wood, yeah, we win. Get right here, crack him, I think. What do you mean? I hit him okay, 94 okay. white. How many mats you got? I have 300. Okay, I'm getting back up. I have 100 mats. I have, I have eight builds. Reloading RPG. I'm on top. You guys are about to laugh. You guys are about to laugh so You're hard right now. I have six builds. 32 in the air. What is he in the air? What is he? Oh, I dropped. I dro oh, I dropped in the water. I walked off, bro. I walked off the fucking builds. I was spraying the guy and I got two tunnel vision. And I walked off the fucking builds. Whatever, Coop clutches, so oh it's not that big of a deal. Um, like I walked off and I basically didn't have enough mats to catch myself. So it is what it is. I tell Coop to drop here. He's a little bit too high. I don't want him to, to drop and take fall damage. I'd say drop down a little bit. Notice he, he's almost out of mats, so he has to conserve. He has to use every single mat wisely. He shits on that kid. He grabs enough mats. And then shits on the other kid. And it's that simple. Uh, we took height in that second moving, I believe it was. Maybe third moving. Uh, and we noticed that the team on height was cranking with another team. Right? And that happens. That happens in stat games. That happens in non-stat games. They're cranking against the other team. We're ahead of zone, we have an RPG, we have a minigun. Even without that minigun or RPG, we could just beam that team uh, and take it. So that's what we ended up doing, and then we won the game off of it. Notice notice in that game I took height at the beginning, I left height, and then I took height at the end, and we ended up keeping it. So uh, things like that will win you the game. Uh, good luck on FNCS this weekend, guys. I don't know if I'll have another video, I might have one out by Saturday. Saturday morning, I'll probably have another video. It'll be a high vibes video. Super positive, uh, fun game that I had with Blake. P.S., if you guys know that is. And, uh, I know you guys like the last high vibe video. How to stay with a positive mentality. That one is also one like that. We're just vibing, no plan. We end up winning the game. Uh, just by vibing, man. We shit on everybody, drop a 20 kill win. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember, guys, I stream live on Twitch every single day. Uh, scrims. I've been playing Valorant recently as well. If you guys want to check that out, feel free to watch that. You know, it's like eight hours a day of streaming. Everyone's been loving it from the YouTube videos. And uh, code Arab in the item shop if you guys are buying skins and enjoying my content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Still one more kid below. Four pop. Pop, Seven builds, seven builds. Grapple heads. Pop. The gold spaz. Also, shout out to Lunez and your fellow Arab TV over there, the thick boys rocking it out. Your fellow Arab TV has a huge elimination, takes out Tifu and close seat. It's your fellow Arab, dude. He's always in the top of the leaderboard. Full committed, committed to Arab. Full committed to Arab.